Bonsoir everyone, or should I say Buonasera. I am here this evening at Jardin Mezaren restaurant and uh, I am here this evening to have dinner, obviously, and I just went in and met the owner and it turns out he's Italian. To threw me totally by surprise. So we've been speaking in Italian and I assume that's gonna be how it's gonna be for the rest of the evening. So. I just went in and saw this place. It is amazing. It is gorgeous. It's elegant. It's just breathtakingly beautiful. One of the most romantic restaurants I've ever stepped foot in and I'm all alone. But you guys are going to be my date this evening. So let's go inside, have a look around and you are not going to regret coming in here, I bet. Just like I don't regret coming here this evening. So let's go inside. So I've been greeted with a glass of champagne. Oh, and it even has a cherry on the bottom. I didn't even notice that. And um, I haven't had champagne in a really long time, so this is pretty exciting. This is a super, super nice, elegant, very, very upscale restaurant. But the owner told me that he tries to keep the prices down so that the upper bourgeoisie can have a chance at coming to a fine dining sort of establishment. Um, and I thought I was dressed up, but I feel quite underdressed. However, everybody is very friendly, so um, I'm just sort of soaking it up, actually. Um, he was making jokes. Of, he's Italian, which is really exciting um, for me to be able to speak to somebody here in France in Italian. Um, but he was telling me that they have some very expensive wines here, um, and I'm probably going to get to taste one. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully it'll be good one unlike the stuff I had the other night which was not great so um cheers <laughs> oh my god that just tastes rich 
And when I say rich, I mean yacht rich. So the waiter just brought over this delicious wine. It's apparently one of the best wines made here in Aix. And it is from Chateau Simon. Um, it's a 2015. Um, oh god, this is one of the best wines ever. I can see now why French wine is so famous. So my very first uh, dish has arrived. And this is beef tenderloin with uh, some sort of sauce. And on the side we have vegetables and we have some potatoes and asparagus. Um, and they have something called fleu de salle, which is like um, some sort of a salt that's been left in the sun. And I'm not really sure what it is, but they use that to cook with. So let's try this beef tenderloin, which smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh, those flavors. And the meat is so tender. It's tender tenderloin. Um, now let's try this potato. Wow. Okay, my full lobster, not half lobster, my full lobster has just arrived. It's lobster with tagliatelle and it's and the tagliatelle is in lobster bisque, which I love. And I have to say something, I haven't even tasted this lobster yet, and maybe I'm gonna speak too soon, but I really don't think so. This lobster looks amazing. So let's try the first bite. Okay, this is for sure the second best lobster I've ever had, ever. The first was in Tuscany, and I'm not at liberty to say where I had it because it was kind of a top secret place that I had it. But um, this is phenomenally good, and I knew it would be. This is like one of their specials of the day. And now let's have a bite of the lobster with the tagliatelle. There are also cherry tomatoes. The flavor is amazing. Alors, um, now it's time for the millefeuille, millefeuille, which is millefeuille um, in Italian. And this is a pastry with um, chocolate mousse inside with um, fresh strawberries, which you can smell. I mean, I can smell this dessert and it's a cold dessert. It smells amazing. Um, so we're going to just cut into this like so. Oh, look at the flakiness of that. <laughs> and take a bite. Mm. Okay. This is my favorite thing. Oh my gosh. Let's try this fresh strawberry on the side. Oh, it's with mint. Oh my gosh. So this is my last thing that I'm going to try. And this is the second dessert. This is a hot dessert. And so it's sort of like a muffin. This is apparently a traditional French dessert. Um, it's with something like a muffin. It's warm and hot. It has a hot cherry on top. And then obviously a mint, I'm assuming, for decoration. And then underneath it they have um, English cream, which is a cream, apparently, and possibly English. <laughs> so um, let's take a bite. You can see the steam coming out. So, it's almost like a soup. So. Mm. Wow. Okay, I am finished with my amazing meal here at the restaurant. And 
I sincerely cannot recommend this place enough. This has literally been the best restaurant that I have been to the entire time I've been here at Aix-en-Provence. Um, the waiters, the staff could not be friendlier, um, more um, attentive and kind. Um, the food was absolutely phenomenal. The chef, who is also the owner, again, could not have been friendlier and more hospitable um, and gracious. Uh, just walking, walking around to the tables, making sure that the customers are happy and, and taken, well taken care of. Um, candles on every table, um, wonderful ambiance. The music is sort of um, at a low level, uh, but they're playing Eros Romazzotti and I think Poverati earlier. Um, and of course, they have an outdoor seating area uh, on the patio in the garden, um, the jardin, uh, jardin, I think is the word uh, in French. I don't know, I don't speak French, so. Uh, je ne parle, uh, je ne parle français. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to speak, say anything. So I'm not going to embarrass myself around the French customers who are probably listening to me. At any rate, um, the food was delicious. The prices are a bit more uh, extravagant than what you might find in other places. Although here in Aix, everything does seem to be kind of a high ticket, so um, uh, it could be in line with other places here. The, the thing about this restaurant, though, is that it's set out apart from the touristy areas, so you're not going to be bombarded with lots of tourists and you're not in a tourist trap so the as I always say it's better to go outside of the touristy areas because the quality of the food is going to be much higher the price is probably going to be much lower um, and they're going to be more attentive to your needs and uh, and desires so with all that being said I highly recommend coming here and when you do make sure to tell them that Lisa sent you and until next time everybody don't get lost without me